My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have got a 1968 Mustang Fastback with 2,300 miles on a ground-up restoration as a Shelby. It does have some upgrades, including a five-speed trans and air conditioning. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in the 68 Mustang Shelby. Looking at the car, you cannot tell it from a Shelby. It's got all the right features. <clears throat> that would include the fiberglass scooped hood. The air comes in through here, carries the hot air out through these vents, has the extended nose with the grill and the fog lamps and the emblems and the hood pins. We got Cobra emblems. We got the 10 spoke Shelby wheels, but these are uh, aftermarket. They're 15 inch instead of the 14s. Got Goodyear tires on them. You got the scoops on the upper, uh, upper and lower quarters, GT stripes, the dovetail fiberglass trunk with the end caps, this whole panel, got the sequential tail lights, the Shelby gas cap. So it's got all the goodies uh, that a Shelby would have. Uh, back here is beautiful. This all looks new. The tail lights, the silver paint, the bumper, the reverse lights, that's all beautiful. This is a power antenna. Uh, the glass is very clear. All the trim is really nice. The stainless is all very good. A uh, couple freckles on the door handles. Actually, this one's real nice. The other side had a few freckles. Uh, this remote mirror has a few freckles, but the other one looks new. Uh, windshield's been replaced, it's crystal clear. Everything fits really nice, even the fiberglass parts. Uh, nice and square and fits nice. Car's really straight. You look over the top, you look down the sides, even the, again, the fiberglass hood, everything is really straight. Very desirable Highland green. The metal flake is laid out real nicely and the clear coat is polished super smooth and glossy. If you look for them, there'll be a couple minor flaws. I see a tiny nick on the edge. There's a nick on the door that's touched up. Uh, so minor imperfections. I'm only bringing them up to cover my own butt. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's super nice. I mean, look at the reflection. It looks like I could reach right in there and grab something. And it's all smooth. There's no bubbles or blisters along the bottoms or anywhere for that matter that I had seen. It's all clean metal. Uh, so super nice paint. Door jams are real tidy. You know, the hardware, the latches, the weather strip looks new. That's all real good. Trunk compartment's nice. It's all nice metal. It's got the mat. Uh, it's got a spare. It's got a jack. Um, the weather strip is nice. It's got some decals, so real respectable. It has the fold-down rear seat, which means that rear door opens. I guess if you want to haul two-by-fours or something, you could, uh, but that opens up into the back seat. Doors fit really nice, shut nice, open real easy. I always like that about a car. Uh, the interior is restored really well. The metal is painted. Door panel, uh, armrests, all that's really nice. The headliner and visors and mirror are new. The, the headliner fits real nice and tight. So it is a fold down back seat and the, all of the trim and plastic and everything back here is real nice. It has working interior lights. It does have the chrome uh, louvers uh, inside the grills. They're original, there's a little pitting on those. Has a high performance 289 motor. Dressed up real cool with the uh, Cobra finned uh, valve covers and air cleaner. Uh, it's got aluminum intake with a giant Holly carburetor, electric choke. It has headers, has an MSD coil, chrome alternator. We'll fire it up in just a minute. 
Uh, front seats have been reupholstered, carpet's real nice, has Shelby floor mats. Uh, it is a five-speed shifter, but it looks like the original handle with the knob and the reverse lockout. All the chrome trim across the dash is replaced. It is new wood grain. Wood grain's coming undone in a couple of the corners. But this does have the factory uh, tachometer and clock, so it has the full gauges in the dash. There is a retro stereo that fits right in the factory hole. Underneath the car is super solid. Front end's all rebuilt, has rack and pinion steering, uh, disc brakes in front, but the uh, control arms, bushings, all that looks relatively new in front. In back, it has new upgraded shocks, it has tubular control arms. Uh, bottom of the motor looks clean. You look up at it, and the fuel pump, the starter, the oil pan's clean. Like I said, it's upgraded to a five speed Tremec Trans. It has a brand new drive shaft. In back, it has the original uh, three to one ratio Posi rear end. I'll fire it up. Yeah, real nice inside here, very tidy. Owner's manual's in the glove box. The tachometer's working. Actually, a quick fuel carburetor. It's got a nice everything fits and shuts. Runs real nice. That fifth gear is nice when you're cruising on the road. There you have it, one of the hottest cars on the planet, a Shelby. Good looking car, it's clean top to bottom. It's a very nice, honest car. You get the impression it's a good one. Visit volocars.com, plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. That's my impression, I just gave you the car. If you want specific details or information, feel free to ask, they will help you out in any way that we can. Uh, and they can help with the financing and delivery and the paperwork. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next video that comes out. Thanks for watching.